Okay, today we're going to make a comparison between the thermocouple and the thermal pile. Now, the thermocouple is a safety device for older furnaces and other gas appliances that would not allow the gas valve to come on if the pilot wasn't burning. And let's get a close up on this thing. Okay, there's your thermocouple right there. Okay. If it's warm, it holds the gas valve open. I've gone over this in other videos, but it's just kind of quickly I want to go over this again. Okay, so if you warm the thermocouple, then it's going to produce power. It's a hot junction, cold junction with dissimilar metals, and it produces power. Okay, when it produces power, it produces millivolts. Millivolts are thousands of a volt. Uh, give you an idea, a C battery is 1500 millivolts. So, uh, it's a very small amount of power. Okay, I'm going to warm this thing up and we're going to watch this meter and see where it goes. Now, I've got the meter. Take a quick look over here. Uh, Okay, we've got one of the probes from the meter on the button here and the other one on the wire. And we will see what kind of voltage we get out of this thing. Now in this case, this meter is set to DC volts. If you look real closer in the corner of that thing, it shows you... Okay, it shows you volts, and then it's got the line, the dot dots under it. That is DC volts. If it had that, that would be AC. It's got to be DC or it's not going to read. Okay. This meter is capable of reading in millivolts, so shouldn't be any big problem. Now, I'm not going to use the pilot to warm this thing. I'm just going to use a little torch. Let's see what happens. You can use a torch to test these. I'm not real thrilled with doing it because I'd rather the pilot itself did it. You can see, I'm going to max out around 34. That's probably more intense than it'll ever be with uh, the thermal uh, or with the pilot on it. Uh, so the maximum is usually considered about 30 millivolts. Okay. Okay, that's the thermal pile. It's not different. It's just got more stuff. It's bigger around than the thermocouple. And essentially what it is is a whole bunch of thermocouples all wired together inside. So that's what the thermal pile looks like. It's about three eighths of an inch across. Okay, the other end of the wire from the thermocouple, I've got, you know, it just has these little uh, wire connectors on it. And I've hooked that up to the meter. And I'm going to go ahead and warm this up too, and let's see what it does. Okay, uh, we're showing around five, between five and six hundred, and that's open circuit where I don't have the wires connected up to any load. Now once they're connected to a load, that is the thermostat's turned on and the gas valve is energized, it's going to be a lot lower than that. Okay, now I've got it set up so it's actually on the, uh, it's loaded and it is actually has turned on the gas valve and we're showing 292. I've seen these things energize the gas valve as low as 125. It's nice to have a little bit more than that but they will uh, usually work uh, if it's around 125 to 150. Now understand this is very low voltage and the voltage is going to drop like heck when you put a load on it because right now what I've got is the solenoid inside the gas valve is being energized by the thermal pile and so that uh, between 5 and 600 went down to 287. Now I'm going to pull this off and I'm putting the probe back on. You see I've got 544. And let's get this to where you can see a little better. 
Okay, we got 544 with the wire off the gas valve. Okay, when I put the wire in the gas valve and tighten it down, remember all these things got to be really tight for these millivolt systems. I'm okay, now I'm showing, you know, 293 or whatever like that. Uh, and I got a lot of heat on that thing. So, anyway, uh, I would expect 125, 150 to energize the valve. That's closed circuit voltage. And we're going to talk about how the gas valves are set up on these things and how the pilots are set up uh, in another video.